There's something about God's people and God's men. He said in John chapter number 15, every branch that does not bear fruit, he cuts off, puts in the fire. But that branch that does bear fruit, he prunes it that it may bring forth more fruit. That's God's method and his choice to do with us. Our choice is to believe to believe that there's an overriding principle, to believe that there's an almighty God, to believe that he has our best interest at heart, to believe that when he gets done with us, he'll have formed Christ in us, to believe that he knows what he's doing about my life far more than I know. And for the next 27 years, I snatched up my life, and you know what I did with it? I drove it into hell. I ruined it. I wasted it. And in your proud, pharisaical, snobbish attitude, you may say that we are a preacher, but I'm not like you. I'm a whole lot better than you. So, you know, you, until you live in somebody else's shoes, you don't understand the kind of world that they came up in. Amen. Amen. You can't understand it. So it is with the pit. Don't you listen to this. Why would God put him in a pit, preacher? Because he knows what it feels like to be in a pit. He knows what it feels like to be discouraged. He knows what it feels like to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? You see, friend, he has to minister to you when you go through the times that make no sense and the times that your faith may fail you and the times when you do things and say things that you never thought you ever would say. And yet he'll come back to you again and he'll restore you and bless you. And you'll say to yourself, I don't deserve this. I've been, I mean, I turned my back on God. 